just boo me a little. Okay. Just a little bit. Only because it's you. You can't what really you boo me. Talk about? We're going to do the ACM Productions Black History Moment. And we were playing with the football because we decided to go with a footballer. Okay, because you know, normally February is the only celebrated month of black history. But here on ACM Productions, we like to do something a little bit different. Every we like to give you a black history moment each and every week. So, this black history moment goes to a footballer. Hold on, let me get the paper out. Wait a minute. Who is it going to be? And this is black history, so you get what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You got to hear me out. He is an African-American, right. and he did win the Super Bowl. You know who I'm talking about? The first. He's the first and only. Yeah, I you know who I'm talking about. Just, okay. just talk about him. I mean, I, I see you got the Ravens love going on, and I do have on the purple. I couldn't find a jersey. I tried, so. I have many. You should have called me. Sorry. <laughs> okay. So, hey, 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 Doug Williams. Hi. You're out. ACM Productions Black History Moment of the Week. Yeah, boy. So, let me tell you a little bit about what that means. Normally, you know, February is the only celebrated month for black history, but here on ACM Productions, we like to do something a little bit different. We like to give you an ACM Productions black history moment each and every week. And guess what, Mr. Williams? This week, it's you. Because you are the man. You did something that a lot, no, no other African Americans have done. You made Super Bowl winning. Woohoo! Hooray to you. I'm normally saying boo. But hooray to you, Doug Williams, our Black History Moment man. Yeah. Yeah. We have Douglas Lee Williams, born August the 9th. Hey, that's coming up too. 1955 in Zachary, Louisiana. He is best known for his MVP performance in Super Bowl 22 against the Denver Broncos. He won. He won. <laughs> First black quarterback to win the Super Bowl. Yeah, boy. To date, as they said, he is the only African-American quarterback who has won the Super Bowl. I did not know that. Yeah, that's true. Well, what happened to all the other black quarterbacks? They didn't win? They sucked or something? They didn't suck. I mean, it's a hard game, and they just haven't got one yet. So let's see. Let's talk about Williams some more. We have Williams was drafted into the first round, 17th overall. By who? He was drafted by the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. Right. He was a Tampa Bay Buccaneer first. He went down south. Yeah. He was not a Redskin. Okay. After the USFL shut down in 1986, Williams joined the Washington Redskins under the coach Joe Gibbs. The Redskins. They're our neighbors. We like them. <laughs> That's as far as I'm going on the Redskins. But... It was a very uh, unique signing because the whole idea is that Joe Gibbs, his style of play and everything, and they he decided to go with Doug Williams. It was crazy. Most people didn't like that idea from the jump. They didn't even see where Joe Gibbs it came from on that idea. They thought he was thinking crazy. I mean, but it says here he was... Gibbs was the offensive coordinator at Tampa Bay when Williams was there, so he kind of like had a relationship with him. So to me, that was a smart move. It was, but you don't understand like the rationale of America, the football league during those years. Okay. I mean, we weren't the most popular people to have on the team, so you know, I mean, it was in the 80s and things were starting to change real big. But a black quarterback, true. Randall Cunningham was still the only man that they was looking at. So, I mean, and, you know, he took a lot of big strides, but Dougie did something that he never did. So. Okay, okay, okay. So let's fast forward to the good stuff. Super Bowl Twenty Two. Yep. I actually saw that Super Bowl. <laughs> I did not. <laughs> Why do you say that whenever we talk about Because sports? I didn't see it. I was probably watching Care Bears. She makes me feel old when I talk about sports. <laughs> She's like, I didn't see that. I didn't watch that. Somebody had to talk about it in the house, even in between the Care Bears episodes. I was probably watching something else, like Strawberry Shortcake or Fraggle something. Fraggle Rock. I, I see, I know. See, okay. Well, anyway, <laughs> talk about the Super Bowl. 22. So it was played on January 31st, 1988 at Jack Murphy Stadium in San Diego, California. I have been there. Ha! Okay. <laughs> to Jack Murphy Stadium? No, to San Diego, California. Oh, see, I'm a football fanatic, so I'd like to go to the stadium. Um, San Diego, whatever. <laughs> they got the Chargers anyway. Go right in. The here. NFC champion, the Washington Redskins, won their second Super Bowl by defeating the Denver Broncos. 
And one thing, most people don't remember, but if you looked at, like, NFL films, they showed him, like, limping off the field. I mean, in between plays, and then he would limp back <laughs> and throw the ball like it was nobody's business straight down the field. He did it, like, four or five times during the game where he limped off the field like he was he needed crutches. Wow. And he came right back and let him down the field. It was amazing. So I said the Redskins quarterback, Doug Williams, was named the Super Bowl MVP. You know who should have been named the MVP? His line. Because if you remember that game, that line defended him like he was a baby <laughs> on the middle of the field. They let nothing get to him. They played smash mouth line protection. They didn't let anything get through him because you know he was playing hurt so they knew the only thing that he needed to do was stay in that pocket, find an open receiver, and let it go. Okay. And that's what he did. So I said he completed 18 of 29 passes. It doesn't seem like a lot but think the Redskins were always known for a strong running game. So just the fact that he got that many passes off was something new and, and he let it go and they let it fly. Joe Gibbs was just changing the whole way that the uh, Redskins played football. Wow, so it says here, like I said before, he did 340 yards, four touchdowns with only one interception. Williams became the first player in Super Bowl history to pass for four touchdowns in a single quarter and throw four and a half. Wow, okay, get him, Williams. Williams was also the first and the only, get this people, the only African-American quarterback to play in and win the Super Bowl. This game came to an end of the season that was shortened by a player's strike. Each team only missed one regular season game due to the labor dispute, but three games were played mostly with replacement players until the dispute was settled. That sounds familiar. That sounds like what's kind of going on now. No, uh, but we good now. They actually didn't have part of their season. That strike oh. went on forever. Remember the movie The Replacements? Yeah. That was I saw that. Yeah. I saw that one. <laughs> that, that was about the short extended the shortened season and how the Redskins went and won the championship. I didn't know that was real. It, it was based on it, but it wasn't the exact story. Because remember, uh, I don't even think they had a black quarterback in the movie. <laughs> I don't think they did. did. <laughs> Revisionist history, man. <laughs> they did. And also to add on to it, Jerry. Baltimore during that time really didn't have a team when oh, Williams was killing. Boo Erse. So this guy was awesome. He did all that. There was big disputes going on, limping, round, still won. Yep. Williams, you are the man. Yes, you were. You were the man. You did your thing. The time you spent in the NFL, people remember you for that game where you put your heart out on that field. Mr. Williams, big ups. And that's why you have been the ACM Productions Talent Showcase Black History Moment of the Week. Mr. Doug Lee Williams, give it up to you. All right, Doug, that's Yay! right. So you know what? It's what? time for you to go long. I Yeah, no, you know what? I want to see if you can throw that ball again like you did last time. So I'm going to go long one more time and see if you got it, all right? <laughs>